Hey, Jeff Miller with Trax Tech here today, just going over a, a tip on how we're going to set up this beautiful Riballo uh, center console boat that we're going to do here today. This boat is a perfect example of how we would want to operate with our adjustable gimbal system that we have. We're going to use the uh, flush mounts that are already mounted into the boat on this particular setup because we're going to do a lot of fishing with it, walleyes and salmon and trout and steelhead and muskies. Um, anything that we want with the flexibility that this system is going to offer us uh, and still have the convenience of the removability of sliding everything right out of the boat and going back to a complete natural boat, brand new, uh, nothing hard mounted to it. So, um, And the, the unique thing about an adjustable gimbal with our ball design, this thing's able to pivot and rotate around and match up to any angle that the flush mount has, which most of them are standard in 30 degree 15 or 90s, um, but we do have an inconsistency see when they're building fiberglass walls that the fiberglass is tapered in or tapered out or the two of them don't line up together and the front gimbals always are tapered out are, are mounted out at an angle 30 to 45 degrees but never right on an exact angle so um, what we're able to do with an adjustable gimbal and tie in a long seven foot trolling bar down the side of this this gunnel wall so that we get maximum flexibility using our vertical trees our rod holder setups our downriggers in here is by using two of these full adjustable gimbals this is a solid turned aluminum ball two halves stainless steel helicoiled in the back side for strength on here here, one of our plates on here that we make so we can actually drop this down inside these flush mounts, rotate this plate up around here, get these two parts in line and now we're going to slide our trolling bar right across the top of them, tighten everything down. We're going to lock our, our four bolts in the front side around this ball on here for strength and this thing will be so strong we can run anything we want in there and we've got that strength because we're spreading the weight distribution over this seven feet. We're going off of two flush mounted locations and the strength of how our ball is designed with the four bolts going around each, each ball for uh, tightening that thing down on there so it can't rotate or turn on us. So that's how our new adjustable gimbal system works. Drops down inside there and takes up any imperfections or, or angles inside of a wall on a, on a fiberglass boat. Works great in conjunction. Just got Chris's boat all set up with these adjustable gimbals showing you a seven foot trolling bar span between our two adjustable gimbals mounting the flush mounts of this boat. We're just going to show you some product added in here and show you how quick and easy this works. So we are able to slide on. These are our uh, adjustable GTLT 100 uh, ratcheting rod holders with the lift and turn base on them so that we we can lift and pivot, pivot these in any position we want. So these can lift and rotate, and these are down for ratcheting diver holders. So 17 positions to fish out of them and one-handed right back up. So this is our lift and turn ratcheting rod holder. We can fish straight off the back of the boat or off the side, really mainly designed for our dipsies and jet diver fishing. We can be down below our 90 degree location. Every six, every six degrees, we can fish out of here with 17 positions to fish out of them. And this is one handed, ease back up to you, lift the fishing rod out, go fight your fish off the back of the boat. So we've got two of these in here that Chris is gonna fish, uh, dipsies and jet divers, um, fish uh, um, bottom bouncers for walleyes out of. So a lot of opportunities with these. And we're gonna have downriggers on the back corner here. And then we go with uh, the ultimate vertical tree setup. So. This vertical tree gonna slide right inside our trolling bar here. We're gonna lock this down into place. And now this is where we want a vertical tree is basically midship of the boat. Uh, we've got three rod holders on this tree. We did add a fourth one on the bottom inside slot here. And what this is going to be is on this boat, we needed a net holder. So as you can see, center console, 22 foot Riballo boat, um, keeping everything clean and neat to walk around. So on the front side of our tree, we've got an adjustable rod holder here pointing forward. We can put our net in and have a great place to go. The cool thing about on our vertical tree, we have 12 teeth machined in the bottom, and when we're using that as a net holder, that thing is pointing and dripping over the side of the boat, so we have no, no mess in the boat. So on the net holder that we put on this uh, tree pointing forward, um, with, the, with the teeth that we have machined in here, 12 positions, we're able to lift this, lift this vertical tree from fishing straight out to the side, and we actually added in and love this tilt feature that we can go back to the first set of teeth backwards. So now we've got the net when we're in, in this rod holder pointing forward for our net holder when we're catching a fish, rinsing our net off, dropping our net back, 
back in here. That thing's dripping over the side of the boat, not on our boat. Nice and clean and neat, and we've got great access, and we know exactly where they are. So we can net our fish, bring it back up here, drop it into place. When we come around on the front side, to the back side of this actually, and we're getting ready to run, this is running our inline planer boards off to the side. The cool thing about these, every rod holder is six positions adjustable up and down on here. And now with them tilted back a little bit, makes it really nice and convenient. So when that planer board goes off, you're lifting the fishing rod right out of the holder. You're already got some of the uh, angle going to the back of the boat. There's no slack in the line. So you can just a nice smooth motion, grab the fishing rod up out of the rod holder, walk to the back of the boat and fight the fish. So a lot of great things that a vertical tree does for us, keeps our rod stacked on top of each other, adds a net holder in here. And we added the beverage holder right on the back side. It's all nice and compact when it folds up. Up, take it out for storage, put it down in a hatch. The other cool thing about what a tree does for us is we can lift this up, rotate it through our teeth, it's parallel with our gunnel wall, and now we've got a spot on here for three more fishing rods uh, for storage running back and forth from our spots when we're fishing on the water or heading out to our new destination. So uh, vertical tree is going to give this boat a lot of flexibility, fishing inline planers, dipsies, jets. Um, flat lines on here, bottom bouncers, anything that we want to do on here. So just uh, show you how it works.